Γεια σας και χρόνια πολλά. This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greek journalists joined the protests against the austerity package with a 48-hour strike that blacked out written, TV and internet-based news for two days. The strike ended on Sunday, December 19th. Also, urban and rail transport were partially striking and have scheduled more strikes for next week. Earlier last week, Greece descended into chaos as thousands took to the streets to protest against a new wave of austerity cuts amid a nationwide walkout. Last Wednesday, strikes by public service workers resulted in grounded flights, closed schools and a shutdown of public transport. In the protests, 200 leftists chased former Transport Minister Kostis Hadzidakis as he left Parliament, shouting profanities at him. They threw stones and beat him with sticks until he took flight into a nearby building. Not one, not even two, but 60 towns all over the world have adopted the name Athens. Most of them are in the USA. Georgia's Athens is the best known. It has a population of 112,000 people and is the second biggest Athens after Greece. The third largest Athens is in Wisconsin, a small agricultural village of almost 1,000 inhabitants. The name Athens has been used for cities all over the world. It's the only town that has given its name to such a large number of towns. Other cities named Athens can be found in Canada, Germany, Scotland, Finland, Brazil, Russia, Colombia and even Cuba. In USA news, Dr. Manolis Kelis is one out of 85 scientists to receive the Presidential Early Career Awards for Scientists and Engineers for 2010. The Greek scientist recently visited the White House, accompanied by his parents and his wife, to receive his award personally by President Obama. This award is the highest honor that can be granted to up-and-coming science and engineering professionals. Now on Hollywood. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association announced the nominations for the 68th Golden Globe Awards, which will take place on January 16th at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. As every year, the 2011 Golden Globes nominations list includes artists of Greek descent. Alexander Desplat is nominated for Best Original Music Score for a Motion Picture. Tina Fey is nominated again for Best Performance by an Actress in a Television Series for 30 Rock. Also in Hollywood, a Greek rock band played for the first time at the legendary Roxy Theatre on Sunset Strip. Barbed Wire Dolls is the first rock band to be formally invited from Greece to the US for a series of performances. Their songs have been played the last month on rock radio station KROQ, who invited the girl-fronted band to California. The street rockers came here to stay and have received already numerous contract deals. Moving on to Australia. The outgoing Greek Consul General of Melbourne, Christos Alamannis, inaugurated a new Greek library in Melbourne. The library is housed at the building of the Greek Consulate General for Melbourne. It is ready to welcome visitors and inspire them to discover and enjoy its 450 volume collection. The first Greek book ever published in Australia was Life in Australia in 1916. From that time until today, 800 books of Greek authors have been published in Australia in Greek and in English. Moving on to Africa. The Greek company Sakos Soft, a world-leading specialist in aluminum, will soon build an aluminum processing plant in Pointe Noire, Congo's main economic and industrial city. Currently, the company is studying the phases for implementation. The aluminum processing plant will employ at least 200 people and its implementation would help create many more jobs through processors and installers. In Cuba, Greece agreed to restore cooperation with Cuba. This cooperation follows in the footsteps of some other European Union countries, a joint declaration agreed on Tuesday. Cuba's foreign ministry stated that the signing of the statement by Cuban Vice Foreign Minister Dagoberto Rodriguez with his visiting Greek counterpart Spiros Kouvelis marked the official resumption of economic cooperation between the two countries. For more news and updates, visit GreekReporter.com. Kala Christou and happy holidays to everyone. And remember, Greeks are everywhere.